Besides every multiple of two points to accommodate sun, wind, clouds, and everything else. Only to make it fair. On the good side to start off will be Kirai and Steffes to serve Sinjin Smith. And the sky ball broken out for the first time. Here we go, the double final underway. That's it. Randy Stoklos, excuse me, Billy. If, if Smith and Stoklos are going to turn this thing around, Randy Stoklos must block some balls. In a long game to 15, just prior to this, he had only one stuff block as opposed to Karai and Steffes with five. They go right back to Randy. They've been working on him the entire afternoon, and he cuts it short in front of Steffes. Side goes back to Smith and Stoklos. That 15-7 score in the final, an exact reversal when these two teams played each other earlier in the tournament, and those were the numbers you were talking about earlier, Paul, that 5-1 to one margin in blocks. And the 15-7 score a bit misleading. Very, very long, well-played game, and there's the block. There's stuff block number one. If you're not going to block the ball, you're just not going to win out here. And surprising, they go to Karch Kirai after working on Kent Steffes throughout the first game to 15. You're not going my angle, pointing right at Sinjin Smith. Serving Kirai now. Good set. Oh Off the block, side out. It's one nothing. Smith Starklos. We're going to seven. You only have to win by one. And after the next point, they will change sides. Every two. Line, nobody, it's out. Ooh, one nice. And they'll change sides. Change sides, and like in tennis, in the tiebreaker play will be continuous after the first side change, and then we will take a timeout or a break after the second side change. And we hope everybody is up to speed now on this double final, 1-1. One, one. Keeping it on Randy. Stokey short, over Steffes, in front of Karch. Good touch by Randy Stoklos. One team staying with the same strategy, the other, that is Smith and Stoklos changing. Karch Kirai has received all three serves from Smith and Stoklos so far. This jumper, I think, will go to Steffes. No, Karch again. Tight, cut, down. Keeping everything on Karch Kirai. I guess they got a little bit tired of Kent Steffes. Maybe you heard that he had 40 kills against them in a game to 15. <laughs> This set pretty tight, but again, Karchi just rising, and look at him hitting the ball. Look at the torque on his shoulder hitting the ball inside out. The easy jumper to Randy. Bingo. The crowd hasn't gone anywhere. It's 1-1 in the double final. That time, they do go to Steffes. Oh. Randy got his right hand on it, but unable to take away the cross court. It's going to be a nail biter right down to the wire. These two teams, a great rivalry. No jump serve from Karai, just keeping it on Stokros. Come on, over it. I say a great rivalry. You know, they haven't met each other as teams all that many times. But, of course, anytime you have Karch Kirai and anybody going up against Randy and Sinjin, that signifies a big rivalry. Well, I, I think that mainly comes from the fact that Karch Kirai and Smith and Stokos know it is the only player out here that can take away their mantle as the top uh -huh. team right now. Whoever he plays with is the team that will threaten to displace them as the kings of the beach. And Karch, of course, the one most often linked to Randy Stokos in years past to play with him if Smith was to exit. Series notes, Karai and Steffes have won all three meetings this year between the two, and four finals meetings last year, Smith and Stoklos won three, so the tables have been turned. Karch Karai, a little more demonstrative now than I've seen him before. He wants this tournament badly. An emotional Karai with fist in air. Very important, because Karch has played indoors for so long and accomplished so much, they don't understand why he's so hungry to be the next king of the beach, but he is. Almost a spectacular over that time by the defense of Steffes and Kirai.
on the boomer by Randy. Karch Kirai's lineage is from the beach. I played against Laz, Karch's father, and Karch when Karch was about 10 years old and up in a tournament in Santa Barbara, and he was competitive then. Sinjin, yes. Sinjin up. And the work pays off for St. John Smith. Two to four. St. John Smith had covered the shot down the line, and he had that cut shot. <laughs> Doesn't taste any better after all these years, does it? Sands the hat, St. John Smith. And back goes the visor, the ever-present one for St. John Smith. 13 kills, 13 digs, Mr. Consistency. St. John Smith, we're at 2-2. Bill McDonald along with Paul Sunderland. Big size, missing a good one as he's off in Cuba covering the Pan American Games. We hope you're enjoying it. This is the double final. We're going to seven at Seal Beach to serve Randy Stoklos. Smith and uh, Karai and Stoklos on the good side now. Important to score at the next side change. Karai and Steffes looking for the 4-2 switch, certainly as they go over to the bad side. Come on, <laughs> Look at, I knew Karch Kirai wasn't going to get much action, but that's, uh, that's ridiculous. a bit of an overload, yeah. <laughs> Sinjin swinging hard that time. Side out, Sinjin. 2-2. Two -two. When Kent Steffes and Karch Kirai first got together, I was amazed at how much some of the teams playing against them were serving Karch. I said, what do you just like to see him hit? You know, what's the reason? They said, no, we think we can block him. Sure. Yeah, so did the Cubans, and so did the Russians, <laughs> and so did everybody else. And now everybody's going back to Kent Steffes, but Karch will take the sky ball. Bad set. This is over. Randy up. Karch finds open sand. Stoklos working so hard. Soft block, chase, sets the ball. Smith covering for him at the net to block. And then Randy Stoklos just pulled him out of the way. Just take a look around. Yeah, Sinjin, I see you hanging around behind the block and just chop away. On the good side, Kent Steffes. There we go. Into the net, a break for Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith. They'd like to get one on this side. Somebody looking to break out. A two-point lead in this format to seven is a huge advantage. Each team looking for the 4-2 side switch. Here. Steffes over the head. A little rainbow over the head of Sinjin, who's already committed into the other corner. Remember now, only one point needed for victory. In fact, you only have to win by one is the more correct way of saying that. And conceivably, we could get the 6-6, and every side out could mean the championship. And we're heading in that direction for sure. Randy at the roundhouse. Karch has him. Going to Randy deep. Tough swing. Tight. Back again, and Steffes again! Nobody but Randy Stoklos has this shot. Here are a couple of jousts. Look at Stokey covering himself. And then the joust again. Smith working hard and from another angle. Now we're going to see the backhand flipper, and this should be a free ball. Steffes has got to pass that ball well. <laughs> Is there anything else? You no. I love that. Not in this solar system. Off the sky ball. Another chance. Yes! And a point on the board for Smith and Stoklos. The rally and the reverse flipper kill might have turned this overtime match around because now Smith is into it, feeling confident, sending up the jump serve, I should say the sky ball. You need a big one from Kent right here. No, sir! Randy with the roof! Here's the ball, ball. for two switch. That's a big, big advantage in this game. The blocking, the key to Smith and Stoklos in the overtime. Kent Steffes, he's gone cross-court for about 45 kills in this one. But Stoklos in perfect position with his hands. Randy just taking this match over. As he can. Time to turn it around. If you're Steffes and Kirai. And they serve Karch. And down he 
goes. Time out here at Seal Beach. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Different strategy. Sky balls serving Karch Kirai. Good composure by Randy after being brought right back at him by Karch Kirai. Bit of a close set by Zinzi. But he knew it and came right underneath his hitter, Randy Stokelos, to cover the small things give you victory. Good touch off of Randy that time by Ken Steffes. And the side out once again to Karai, wiping the sweat from his brow. His partner, Ken Steffes, at the net. I think they need, they have to have the 4-4 side change. If Smith Stokelos can get out to 5-3. For the faces just tell the story here in the double final, don't they? Well, the level of concentration and, and just playing so well for so long and Smith going back to the sky ball once again to change things up. Karch wants to take it. Bad set. Over the head of Sinjin, just fine. Steffes may, may be feeling the pressure a little bit, Billy. Mm -hmm. Off the perfect pass, he set that ball seven or eight feet off the net. Well, maybe now he knows he has to win. Maybe that thought has crept in a little bit. I need to win this. Sinjin. Right now, Smith Stoklos look flawless, but it was that big rally in the flipper like you said to really turn the tide at least for now they will clinch the miller light grand prix they being smith and stoklos if they can win this double final they're three from clinching oh lucky cover right place at the right time big right there you've got to be in the right place but that one came back so fast Stokelos looking for his third stuff block in overtime was all over it. Look at Karch. Look what I found. He wasn't expecting it. Down. We're at 4-2, but the serve belongs to Karai Steffes. They're down by a deuce. Good. Singeing this time. They are playing flawlessly yeah, right it's, now. It's, it's the old Smith and Stoklos, if there is such a thing. Siding out flawlessly, and Stoklos taking over the match, blocking extremely well. The crowd helping that serve find its target. Great turn that time by Karch. As Smith was covering behind Randy Stoklos. Still at 4-2, and here's an opportunity for a big block from Karch Kirai. Smart play. Don't try to force them. I think Smith and Stoklos are feeling very, very confident right now. They was a little discontent early on in the match. There you see the side-out streak now in double figures. But, uh, boy, they're really talking to each other well right now. Tight set. Ooh, somebody's in the net. Is it Karch? Yes, Karch Kirai in the net. That's a big, big play. Bad set by Kent Steffes. 5-2 and a game to seven, a huge advantage. This set a little low. There you see the contact. Karch Kirai came into the net at about waist level. And now Karch and Kent said, we need a break. We didn't see any of this in uh, the final. We're at 5-2. Smith and Stoklos in charge. Finishers, Friedrichsen and Lewis had a big win earlier, but finished in the ninth place group. 13th place, Powers and Jantz are tidy bowl winners for this week. <laughs> How do you win the tidy bowl? Well, a, I don't know. It's a distinction. Not they did. They and there, win. as Chris would say, the whole gang in 17. And I, it's raining. Is it? It's raining just a little bit. Give me that over a couple of drops. And it's raining volleyballs right now to Karch Kirai. Kirai to stay in. Yes! Remember now, we're going to seven. This is the double final, and it's six to two. And there is no clock. Steph is going to jump serve, and it's never, ever over. Karai and Steph have not blocked the ball well in this overtime period at all. As close has. Randy. 
the great touch. shot and the down. And it is raining. Not enough to affect play, I would assume. Second championship point now for Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith. A chance for the win. Randy over on two, no! Oh, what a try. I think that was actually his third contact. Micro touch. Touched touch the ball on the road touch. It had to be. I'll tell you, Billy, with it raining in California, the people around the country must just absolutely be loving this because we always tell them <laughs> sun shines in California and we always get rain in Chicago, Milwaukee. But it's raining in Southern California right now. And Sinjin has the side out. You know, if it's hot in the east, they might want to come out now that it's cool. <laughs> you can't win, can you? Another championship point. And this is a good time for the sky ball with the rain coming down. Third time sending it up for the championship. Another chance. This time, Sinjin will get a set. Still alive. Free ball. Sinjin a swing for the championship. Yes! The Miller Lite Grand Prix winners for 1991. Smith and Stoklos. The slump is over. That's the performance of the year. Played so poorly in the game to 15. And then Randy Stoklos particularly turned it around to lead his team to victory. A sensational final and double final that brought us some great moments, some of the best of the summer on Prime Network. Back with more. Don't go away. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. Back to wrap things up from Seal